Rhett's hair is especially fabulous today. I don't think guys should say that about another guy. Seems disgusting. What's disgusting about that? A dude complimenting another dude? You're that insecure that you think this is disgusting? Okay, sure. It's so gross to say another man has nice hair. I guess. Yep, you're right. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Nail, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash gatekeeping. Let's get into it. Hey, just want to remind you that as a white person, you should not be using a PFP of a POC. Yeah, and as a human, you shouldn't use a PFP of a cat. Oh, you, you see how silly your argument here is? I mean, people use you know, anything they want is their profile pictures. I feel like telling somebody, oh, you can't make it. Literally anything you want accomplishes absolutely nothing. I, I mean, why do you care that much about what somebody else has as their profile picture? It's just a profile picture. It's how they're choosing to express themselves. Whether it's a cat or a POC, I really don't think it matters. I'm so sad, posted the Caucasian heterosexual cisgender teenage girl on her blog. Oh yeah, because I forgot if you're any of those things, just sadness doesn't exist in your life. <laughs> I mean, oh, what's the argument here? That these people literally can't be sad? You realize sadness can affect absolutely any single person in the entire world and you're not any better or worse than somebody else or your sadness isn't more valid than somebody else's just because you're not any of these things. Gatekeeping the Mediterranean. Ah, throwback to this gem. Is this still even going on? I mean, wouldn't surprise me if it is. I saw it was supposed to take a while to get him out of there. And if it is still going on, what's the solution? I mean, this can't just stay blocked off forever. Are you a real Brazilian? <laughs> well, what does this mean? Is the legend true about Brazilian women? Oh, uh, you gotta be more specific, man. Oh, do you have a huge bum? Nope, just normal. Oh, okay. So I guess now only Brazilian women can have big butts. Nice. How can you be 20 years and above and haven't spent two or three days in the op station. What are you really doing with your life? Uh, being a responsible adult and not thinking that going to an op station is something to flex on somebody else. I mean, if you've been there, cool. Hopefully you've learned from your mistakes. And if you haven't, hopefully you don't think it's a flex to say that you have been. That's one of these life experiences I don't think you should seek out. I mean, you could have plenty of fun in your life without ever, ever going to the op station. Dear generation with saggy pants, this is how you wear your jeans. Yeah, sure, if you want to be a cowboy and live that country life, or you know what, even better yet, if you just like the look of these jeans, then sure. But if you don't want to wear jeans that look like this, then guess what? You don't have to because they make all different kinds of jeans because people like different kinds of jeans. They wouldn't just make these jeans if nobody was wearing other styles of jeans. I, I mean, seriously, is it that hard to comprehend that people can like something that you don't like and they can look good in something that you don't think you look good in? Gosh, these people are so self-centered. They just think everything they enjoy is what's perfect in the world. And if you don't enjoy all of the same stuff, well, then you're just not as good as me. Okay. If you're over the age of 13 and still eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you get what you deserve. Guys, this applies to me. What, what do I deserve? 100k subscribers? Oh yeah, all right then. I'll keep eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch till a million, baby. Let's go. Until you've buried a parent, you won't understand how hard a holiday, death day, birthday, or any other day is without one. Hmm, I mean, maybe, but also, what's the point of posting this? Are you just trying to flex on people that 
your life is more difficult because you don't have parents. I, I mean, it's a weird thing to, to stake your ground on it. Oh, holidays suck for me so much more than they suck for you. I mean, holidays suck for a lot of people for a lot of different reasons. And if you're finding that your holiday sucks, please try to look at the bright side, whatever it may be in your situation. I'm sure there is one and run with that instead of focusing on the negativity and trying to out negative other people. I, I mean, what's the point of this? So yeah, my holidays suck way more than you. Oh, oh, really? I doubt it because both my parents passed. At least you still have your mom. It's like, dude, how about instead of just trying to one up each other in sadness, you go, oh, that's cool. You still have your mom and, and maybe you guys get each other gifts or something. Uh, oh, why? Why do we have to be competitive over everything? Even sadness. Seriously? I'm from Kansas. I was with him until he said EF1. That's basically a windy day where I'm from. Put my show back on. <laughs> LOL. Gatekeeping tornadoes. Really? That's what you're doing? Okay, well, apparently it's not just a windy day where you're from. Because where you're from, they're airing this news. It, it, it's a literal tornado. I, unless there's literal tornadoes every single day where you're from, then no, it, it's not just a windy day. I, I mean, seriously, I, I guess even Kansas, that, that's probably like in the middle of that tornado alley or whatever. And still, they air this stuff on the news for a reason. It's because these things are dangerous and you should probably take cover, not go, oh yeah, you know what guys, this is nothing to be worried about. Actually, I'm going outside right now. Oh, guys, come on. Moment of silence. A man just complained about not being able to use emojis fast enough. Oh, okay, so this is strictly because what? Men can't use emojis? Y you realize emojis just help convey the message you're trying to say even better. Like I could say something and then I could add a laughing face at the end, or I could add an angry face and it could mean two totally separate things. I mean, I'm sure you guys can come up with plenty of those in the comments down below. And if you didn't have an emoji, people would left, be left wondering, oh, I, I wonder what they meant by that. It literally just helps convey your message even more clearly and kind of adds a tone to what you're saying. And that shouldn't not be allowed for men. I, I, I don't understand how something as simple as a smiley face now is like, oh, you're, you're, fem you're feminine, bro. You, you use smiley faces and stuff. You're so lame. Okay, man. Cool. If that's how you feel. And again, you're really that insecure, then sure. I, I guess I'll be a lame femme dude to you. Celebrating her achievement of buying her first home at 28 with her husband? Try being 23, buying your first own home. <laughs> That's an achievement. Or you could be happy for her instead of gatekeeping achievements. Wow, you know, that's such a novel idea. It's almost like other people have different things going on in their life. And one person isn't better than somebody else strictly for buying a house. I mean, a lot of people would look at you 23 and go, oh, you should really be looking up to them. They have a husband. But guess what? For you and your ideal life right now, you're more focused on buying a home than finding a wife or a husband. But you don't see them trashing you because you don't have that. I mean, seriously, people develop and they grow differently. And they have different goals and aspirations in life. And you're not better just because you have different goals or aspirations or you achieved yours quicker than somebody else or they just have completely separate goals and aspirations than you. Guys, get this through your head. You aren't special just because you accomplished something the quicker than somebody else. Great. You bought a house at 23. That's awesome. There's probably plenty of people that have bought houses at 18 that don't sit on the internet going, oh, really, you just bought your house at 23? I bought mine at 18, I'm way better than you. Because they're not better than you. They just had their moment sooner than you. Or maybe to them, buying a house isn't even a moment. Get over yourself. All right, Modern Shows, that's it for the hot post from r slash gatekeeping. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, Share this video with your friends. Till next time, peace.